Hey y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. To Entrepreneur Live. My name is Renee, your wealth coach. Usually I sit in the other direction, so hey Sherry, welcome. So let me know if the light gets in the way. Welcome, so glad to have you. It's Saturday Night Live. I haven't been on here for a couple of weeks. It's been so busy. My daughter graduated today, so I've been up and down the highway. Last week she moved home. She moved her stuff home, but she's still in Cincinnati, so. <laughs> But I'm glad to have her home. That was my desire, but she didn't want to come back home. But she's home. So tonight we are going to talk about social media um, and how um, the way that things are going, the places that you know people are chiming into online. That's just the new thing. And definitely, if you have a business, um, if you have an online class, if you have anything that you can put online, even if you're a comedian, uh, people are just making money hand over fist on the internet. So let's get started. I'm just pulling up my notes here. So, um, before we get into all the different platforms, if you're starting, uh, want to start a business, um, one of the things is that you want to uh, understand who your target audience is. So, for instance, um, my target, target audience is people that are just starting to invest for the first time, buying their first real estate property for the first time. Um, people that want to start a business, um, that's me. So I have online classes. I help people set up their um, business plan. Also, um, you know, out of everything, the foundation is your finances. So this week I um, helped someone uh, clear up some uh, debt on their credit report. Um, and get that cleared up so that they can have a clean slate on their credit report. So, you know, there's different things that I provide and help people solve their problems. So, uh, that's the first thing. What problems can you solve for someone? And again, I mentioned that you don't even have to solve people's problems. You could just make people laugh and people will follow you and you can gain a following to whereas anything that you do they'll like if you write a book or you offer a course they'll sign up for it and why do people need what you have so um you know as you're solving people's problems um how can where do you fit in in that picture you know again helping people resolve their finances helping people make their first investments. You know, there are people that want to invest um, and they don't know how or they're fearful or they don't know how to go after the right resources to uh, afford them uh, that opportunity. And that's where I come in. I provide resources. I provide steps of action. Um, I've helped so many people over the years. And so now... Um, you know, I've created a course. So instead of helping people one by one, I have a course where as many people as they like can take the course, sign up and take the course and watch it over and over again. Because that's what I'm trying to do. Set up a legacy. Like right now I'm live. You know, you could talk to me and I could talk to you. But I want to set up systems to whereas you can have access to help 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
just in case you can't get in touch with me. But if it's a dire need, um, I'll definitely have something set up that you could reach out to me and um, I'll be able to respond. But for the most part, I've created courses that will allow people to follow a step-by-step uh, process to accomplish their goals and or and provide the resources because everything that I share, whether it's invested in stocks, invested in real estate, and I'm invest, you know, starting a business, I always share, this is the book that helped me. This is the resources that I did. This is, I took the Robert Kiyosaki real estate course. So, you know, I give you resources so that you can go back and just in case you, um, you get out there and you find out, Hey, something's not working. You can go back and check your steps. So that's the resources. I provide resources that you can uh, tap into at all times. So how do you solve their problems? And then the key thing is, um, you know, you being that right person to solve their problems. The purpose that I come on live is so that way you can uh, see me, touch me, uh, hear my message, apply the things that I'm sharing and then come back and say, well, Renee, I you know, applied what you said last week, but something just isn't lining up. And we can talk back and forth because people buy from who the, whom they know, people they trust, and people that they like. And so what better way, if you go directly to a, my website, you don't meet me, you don't know who I am, um, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you get to see the person behind the website. And so there may be some things that I say or do, um, like if you follow me on my personal page, like for instance, there's tons of pictures today of my daughter graduating. Yesterday was my sister's birthday. So, you know, you're seeing a personal side to me. So you're seeing that uh, that I'm living out um you know, you may see something that's relatable is what I'm trying to say. You may see something like, you know, I'm a single mom. You know, I was a young single mom when I started investing. Um, so th somebody may be able to relate to that, you know. Um, and, you know, I always say that, you know, as far as the investing piece of it is that it doesn't matter how much you make. It's what you do with what you make. So when you see me sharing, you know, how I invest and my ups and downs and sharing behind the scenes stories, you know, again, somehow that makes me relatable. And so somebody out there will be able to say, um, there's always an audience out there that can resonate with you. And so that's how you build your... Um, clientele. That's how you build your social media community. Um, you know, and so that's how people are excelling um, at this online. And so tonight we're talking about social media, um, taking your talents and your gifts, taking your expertise. You know, there are some things that only you know how to do. And so you know, you can go to YouTube and, and type in, how do I tie my shoe? Well, someone has made a video on that. <laughs> so if you have a unique way of tying your shoes, you can definitely put it in a video form that people can just view it and say, okay, I found someone that can show me how to tie my shoe. Now, what I'm doing also... um is repurposing. You know, I'm creating content. I'm sharing for free steps on how to do certain things. And so um, that's another thing that giving people tangible things that they can apply immediately to their lives. And, um, and they'll come back for more and more. You know, so it doesn't have to be anything grand um, but you can also, um, like for instance, if you're into finance, you can create a easy budget sheet, you know, a giveaway. 
to people they say hey go to my website or click on this link and download it for free and when they download it they have to fill out their email address and so in exchange for that free item they're giving you like their personal telephone number their here's a personal act uh, a way of getting in contact with me and so um you definitely want to begin to build um you know even though i'm on instagram i don't pay for instagram but if i build an audience here i want if instagram decides tomorrow to shut down i want to still be able to connect and communicate and and uh still provide service to you so in exchange i have a website that i do pay for which is my place of business you can go to my website and subscribe and then that way we will always be connected always be connected so it wouldn't matter if facebook decides hey we're not going to provide service anymore i won't lose like i have a facebook group with over um 300 people and um good evening till thank you for joining we're talking about um you know social media setting uh something up on social media and so um just sharing that when i first started doing live videos i started on periscope and periscope is no longer in existence so had i stayed on periscope build a following like i have the facebook group and then they're no longer around and i never connected with my audience to say hey here's my website go to my website where i do pay and say in exchange sign up subscribe to my website i would have lost connection so say if i build it up uh 500 to a thousand people or more some people have over a million followers million plus followers so imagine you took all that time to build up a clientele you took all that time to build up a community and then they shut down and you lose all that contact so um i might have to get better at that myself um get people to go to my website to sign up so that we can always be connected um especially if you feel that um what i provide is of value to you you definitely want to stay connected uh with me um the other thing is um just providing content you know again providing uh actionable content that people can um that's why i wrote a book which where is my book i got a stack of books that i pull out whenever we have a book club so i wrote a book and so um in the book it gives you step by step action like i took the day ramsey so that's the first thing that i pull is like there's um i got at least nine steps that you can follow to um set up a finance um plan for yourself so 10 years from now you can still apply those nine steps So you want to um and I call it classic information. Something that's still going to be applicable 10, 20 years from now. So that way when I'm dead and gone, this book is still will still be available to, for purchase. People can still um uh, again go back and say, "Hey, um I'm in trouble with my finances. Okay, I know that I read a book that gave me nine steps." and they can pull that chapter up and go over the nine steps over and over again. So, um the next point I want to make is that um you want to create content that you can repurpose, use over and over again. So, even though I wrote a book, um I can make this into like seven, eight different streams. So, for instance, I have the book I can um it's an ebook um so that's another stream of income. I can also um create a workbook with questions. I can also get speaking engagements from this book and speak on the topics in the book. Um so whatever you create, you want to make sure that um 
You can repurpose the information. You can take one chapter and make a video out of it. You know, just multiple ways that you could just extract information out. So, you know, my goal is to um, create information. Like, for instance, even though I'm live right now, when I'm done, it becomes a recorded message. So people can come to um, this page and watch this video over and over again for as long as, you know, Instagram allows it to be there. I also upload it to YouTube. Now, YouTube, you know, that information stays there forever. So someone can go to my page and just watch the information over and over again. We're talking about social media. So, for instance, let's talk about monetizing your platform. So, say I'm uploading it to um, YouTube and Instagram. Instagram actually pays you a hundred. Uh, was it a hundred dollars? Here, let me see if I have this on my computer. They're paying you for your live videos now, and even though. Um, you're live, there's companies that will advertise on your videos and you would get a check from, from that. And I think um, YouTube is now offering $100 for live videos for their shorts. So you can get paid for your videos. Excuse me, and YouTube has been um, big with that paying you for your video. So when you create a video, not only do you get paid, um, it just scales the, you know, the algorithm I'm learning, um, you know, trying to learn how to be monetized on each platform. So I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube, I'm on TikTok, um, I'm on Pinterest, you know, I'm on in a lot of places, but it's good to know how each platform pays you for different things so for instance youtube every time somebody views your video every time they click like click dislike every time that they comment every time that they subscribe to your channel all of that gets factored into how you get paid for the video and so let's say your video goes um viral that's a whole nother level of payment and then um one thing about youtube again is that the videos are there all the time so there's times where like i'll post um a video like i posted a video um two weeks ago on the instagram reels and um and th those are the little 30 60 second videos and um that took off right away. Now, I noticed that if I post, you'll learn how to post during different times. So when I posted, I usually post between 7 and 8 because I got to be to work by 8.30. I'm also doing live videos and all that then. But um, I post it and like as soon as you post, it will either just take off and soar or, you know, it'll have a slow start. But this video had over 10.3 thousand views. I had never gotten a video with that high of a view before. Um, and then there was a, a, another video which went about a thousand in a, like five, 10 minutes, which is, you know, quick and good. But then that video, people kept watching it every day. Every day I kept getting views. Usually when I post, it'll just catch on like right then and there. You know, I could tell within the first half hour whether it's going to be a big, huge jump or if it's just, you know, eh. But this video kept every day. It just kept circulating in the system. And so that's another way to get paid. So... Um, right now I'm trying out something new on my personal YouTube channel. I'm doing mukbangs. So, I mean, that I eat out every day anyway, um, cause I'm an empty nester. So today I went to the cheesecake factory and while I was there, 
I filmed me eating. That's a, it's an eating show. And so um, I'm taking a master class. So I kind of had, you know, my instructors like critique me on my YouTube channel. And they were so intrigued by that. And they were like, Renee, one day you're going to wake up and YouTube is going to just uh, make your video go viral. And when they do, then they're, they're going to come back. They're going to push your video out there to people, which will then people go to my page and they'll just watch all my other videos. So you may drop a video where it may get a few little views on it, but then once it starts to gain momentum, then something you may have posted like last year made a year later may take off. It's just crazy how this all works. So, um, you just want to be consistent, keep posting, uh, come up with a schedule like, okay, I'm going to post, um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or I'm going to post once a week, whatever you do. Like for instance, this show is every Saturday night at eight o'clock. And I'm telling you, I have some faithful people that chime in like you, Teal, so till, you know, if I'm not here at eight o'clock, she knows I'm consistent. She knows that she can tune in every Saturday at eight o'clock. And if I'm not here, Till's sending me a text like, you okay? What's going on? You're not live. And so that's the thing. People will just lock in. If you're providing content, if you're providing um, something that touches them or you're relatable to them, they're going to tap in at all times. So, um, and that's building a community. That's building a community. And um, Till, I was talking about at the beginning of the video is that people buy from whom they know, like, and trust. So just think, you know, if I just did ads all the time, you know, that's nice. Or I do ads to send you to my um, uh, website that's still not getting to know me. But when I come on live, you you get to see me, hear me. Um, you know, like sometimes I'll share personal things. So I become relatable. I become that person to whereas if I can do it, if I can, you know, succeed at investing, if I could succeed at buying real estate, if I could succeed in business, and you're looking at me, just an average person, you know, people are going to buy into that. They're going to buy into you. So if I, you know, build a community of, you know, you don't even have to build a big community because like in the Facebook group, there's about a hundred, I don't know, I haven't looked at the number. I want to say about 150 people. And then Kingdom Mares has a Facebook group as well. And um, I think that one uh, has almost 300 people. If you just focus on the community that you already have and provide value, guess what? They become your advertisement because they're going to say, you know, someone says, hey, um, I need help. You know anybody that uh, has a rental property? Do you know anybody that has an Airbnb in Columbus? Do you know anybody that provides financial services? Who do you think that they're going to recommend? People that they tap into on a daily basis. So you definitely want to get your message out there. You want to um, make it known to people that, hey, this is what I provide in service. And this is, um, I'm the person that can help you with that. Until, um, you know, we're talking about social media and, um, you know, what services can you provide to somebody? And so, um, you know, you want to make that known. And so not only do you get on social media and say, hey, this is what I provide. But even if I were to go to your site, if I were to click on your Instagram page, like, for instance, you don't even have a picture, Teal. You know what I'm saying? So just having a picture, if I go to your um, page, if I click on your page, what would I find? Would I find what? things that 
you know, you offer, things that you can uh, solve, problems you can solve for me. You want to have that everywhere. That, so if somebody pulls up your website that they, first of all, they see your picture. Then second of all, they're, they're able to read what you have. And then if you have videos or if you provide um, resources or if you provide contents, you know, um, like on Instagram, I usually make slides that will give a step-by-step -step on how to buy real estate, how to buy stock, how to, um, I don't know if I did one for gold and silver. I think I did. Or, you know what I'm saying? Everything that I offer, you know, I got little slides and it's just little, little, you know, not a lot of information, just enough to whet the appetite, answer, you know, maybe some questions they may have on how do I buy real, my first property, you know? So I, I'll have, I have that there. I have it on my website. I talk about it. I come on live, you know, and keep talking about it. So, you know, sometimes it takes like nine or 10 times to plant that seed in that person to whereas they're like, well, you really plant the seed the first time and then you water it. Yes, you can coach somebody through doing a rehab. Matter of fact, um, I was sharing uh, videos all week from Jamal King, which we're getting ready to read his book in the next book club, um, on rehabbing. So there are so many people that want to rehab. So why wouldn't you put a series of videos? Just you don't have to make them long. You know, definitely if, if they're going to be an hour long, you want to put those on like on a YouTube uh, channel. Um, but you could just do a little clip, just a portion of it, and then lead them to your website so that they could take your course. Because trust me, people want to know. And so let's break that down, um, coaching people through doing a rehab. Now, um, what's five things that we can extract from that? So the first thing I'm thinking about, um, finding, um, you know, doing the rehab, where do I go to buy my supplies? Would I go to like a Home Depot or do you know of an outlet, a discount outlet? Or do you know a group of people that get together, team up and buy a discounted cabinets and fixtures and that sort of thing that's a video now um rehab do you gut it out let's see rehabbing do you um the team your team <laughs> that's key how do you um, select your team for a rehab? Where do you find your team? Now, these are all individual uh, videos that you could do on the topic of rehabbing. So you could just have one video that gives the introduction and just break it down into like, 10 different um, things that you can extract. And then now you got 10 videos on rehabbing. You're taking notes too. So you tell me what else, what else would I need to know? So I know key thing is team. Your team could either make you or break you. A video on timeline. How about that? What's the, the a good timeline for rehabbing a property? Because if you buy a property... If you buy a property and you plan to rehab it, now, okay, here's a decision. When you buy a property, are you going to flip it or are you going to rent it? So, again, there's like two videos right there. Um, one on, okay, or even talking about the difference between rehabbing it to flip it and rehabbing it to, um, you know, save it as a rental, And then, you know, I'm thinking of the Burr method that, you know, you rehab it, you rent it, you refinance. So you still keep the property and go buy another property. 
Um, what else can we get out of a rehab? Now, I used to um, have a mentor that rehab properties. Um, and one thing that he would do, he would always get a property. He would always update the bathroom and the kitchen. So he would take out the cabinets. Now, he wouldn't throw the cabinets away. He would keep them and put them in storage because he may come across another property where those cabinets may fit better. So he would always, you know, redo the floors in the kitchen and in the bathroom. He would update the bathroom. He'll, you know, update the tub and all that on every one. He would buy boarded up houses. That's when I, I would never, I would never at the beginning of my property um, career would I look at a boarded up property. <laughs> you know, I would bypass that. But he showed me like, Renee, they're boarding them up to save what's on the inside. So he would go in as long as the roof was good, the bare, the you know, the bones of the house was good. A lot of times there's people that started a rehab that quit before they finished. So they put in the new furnace, they put in the this, they put in the that, and then they gave up. He would find those properties and finish them. So that's another thing. That's another thing. How to, uh, you know, select your rehabs. So Till, when are you going to start your YouTube channel? That's what we're talking about tonight. We're talking about setting up... Um, you know, your platform so that people can come and get your knowledge. Because as long as you keep your knowledge to yourself, you're not helping anybody. And there's problems that you can solve. You know what I'm saying? You become the expert on rehabbing. You know, and then the other thing is when you do find a property that you're filming, going through the property, Again, that makes you relatable. That makes you uh, stand out. That, that That's letting me know that you're currently actively involved in rehabbing. So as you walk into the property, when you first look at it, we're seeing, you know, what you're seeing. But then you're pointing out things that you're going to do to rehab it, to bring it up to, um, again, whether you're going to flip it or whether you're going to keep it for rent. And then you're showing us the after. So you're showing us the before and during and after. The other thing is, um, even though you have a team, um, I know that, like, you know, okay, today the flooring guy is coming out. You got to kind of micromanage those people because, again, you're on a timeline. And so, you know, the guy's supposed to come out today at 10 to do the floor and then the next guy's going to come in and put in the cabinets okay you go and come find out it's 12 o'clock noon and your floor guy didn't even show up yet so those are the types of things that come up that people need to know um you know they need to know the realness of it like you know a lot of times you know when people are selling courses on real estate they're telling you the the highs, like, oh, you can make, I made uh, 50000 on this flip. Well, they don't tell you, like, all the details leading up to that 50000 And then, um, you know, some of the shows say, hey, we didn't sell this in a timely manner. Well, what happens when you don't sell and you got a loan to rehab it? Now money's coming out of your pocket. So, again, those are things that people should know want to know and that could be those little details that make you stand out differently from the other rehabbers and so um when you do your videos you know you, the titles are very important so how to do a rehab or how to avoid being taken advantage from a contractor how you know what to look for as far as the plumbing and the electrical you know, again, we talked about... Now we're probably up to 20 different videos there. <laughs> and you just start with one and just gradually keep building. And the next thing you know, you have a course. When you get done with a... You, so your whatever rehab you're getting ready to do, you start at the beginning. Hey, this 
you know, give the uh, bare bone, you know, give the foundation of a rehab. And then you we're actually going through the property with you. And by the time you get done and close or whatever you're going to do at the end, that's a course. That's a course. And so over the past five years, on, online courses have been growing at a rapid rate and there's no signs of demand slowing down at any time too soon. Since the pandemic, many people have transitioned into Zoom meetings and e-learning, including schools right across the world. A successful online course should be structured and have clear objectives. Most successful online courses typically include step-by-step -step actionable information, high quality videos, slide presentations, um, downloadable workbooks and engagements. Sharing your online course will typically consist of building a website, building an e-commerce store, or building a sales funnel. And so some, three things that you want to have um, when you're putting your course together is content, which we talked about that, coaching, and community. So people are going to follow you, those that want to rehab. So you said 20 videos, you're too busy now and you need to find the time. Listen, I'm finding the time. You know, I, I'm finding the time because I said, you know, this week, I, well, really, the fact that I'm just like really serious about this now because I go to work every day for somebody else's dreams and they pay me a fraction versus over here working for myself making all of it <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like i'm in my 50s and i have worked for other people and i had my own business too for a while there my own salon which did very well now i'm like I'm giving myself 120%. So I find the time like, you know, in the past couple of weeks, I have been traveling. Matter of fact, today, my daughter graduated from college and I had to drive to Cincinnati. So I was up at four o'clock this morning, getting dressed, hitting the road and um, went to Cincinnati, went to the graduation, came home and I prepared for tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, almost like, Gave myself the night off again. No, I'm not giving myself the night off because even like my daughter last week, I was in Cincinnati because she moved back home from college. So I had to go down there. And so, but at the end of the day, Sundays at three o'clock, I have the cash flow game. Saturday night at eight, I do these. In the mornings, I do the wealth chat. And um, we do the book club every other Wednesday, you know. So I, when I did my vision board, I put it in there that this is what I'm going to do. These are the days and the time. If you only have one day a week, do it. Do it. You inspire me too. But I, I and I'm also the type of coach, like the coaching part, where I'm going to push you out there. So, you know, you definitely can um, benefit and make money. And then again, once you make the course, guess what? It's not like you're doing it every day. Once you put that course together, guess what? People will be, they'll just go to your website and put in their credit card and take your course over and over again. And you would be able to reach, like right now I do my courses live, but I've been working, all, I did it for a year but also for a year, I've been recording. So when you come to the book club, I'm recording. I'm recording this. So this time next year, I'm not going to be live. You're going to be watching recorded videos. So once you create your course, you're done. You're done. If you do a complete rehab, that's a course. People will download that five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. So just like real estate, once you get in there and rehab it, you're not keep rehabbing it. 
You go in there and and give it a good rehab. That's another thing. Put just go in there and do a good rehab. I think um, Jamal. I don't know if you looked at the videos that I put in there. He was saying I always when I uh, get a rehab, I always um, he guts it out. He puts in new electrical. He puts in new plumbing. He puts in new um, air. Because that's something, once you put in a brand new system, guess what? He's not going to get phone calls about plumbing or electrical or the air conditioning for a long time. You know, and then when you're buying it brand new, putting it in brand new, you get some guarantee, you know, some warranties. So, you know that your tenant's not going to be calling you like, hey, my air conditioner is not working. So, once you build that structure, you're not there every day just initially you're putting in the work but once you put it up do a good foundation you're not doing it every day so there that frees up your time but yet there's money going into your account every month and then if you got courses and people are downloading your courses every day can you see how the sky's the limit the sky's the limit to where you won't have to work. You put in the work now. It's like you put in the work now. Which that's what I'm trying to do. Because I'm trying to do an early exit plan. To where as my courses are going. My, my you know that rent checks are coming in. Um, you know multiple streams of income. So that way I'm not worried about. I'm, I'm doing what I want to do. The things I love doing. And I would like to travel, you know, whatever your vision board is saying that you want to do, this will afford you that opportunity. So I am going to open the floor up for questions because I know I've just been talking, talking, talking. But as you can see, you know, it's not that hard to um, put it together. And so right now... As a gardener, I'm planting multiple seeds. So I got my business, Kingdom Airs, going, online classes. I'm building up my personal brand, whereas I'm doing a mukbang. Again, I'm looking to get checks from YouTube and the different uh, places. Um, and I'm having fun doing it. I'm having fun doing it. And yes, you know, and then I gave myself a schedule so I'm not wearing myself out. Plus, I've been writing content for a long time. So, you know, like for instance, um, you know, doing the wealth chat in the morning, I do that. Um, what? I do that. It, I don't go longer than 10 minutes. So 10 minutes a day. <laughs> you know, and this one is like an hour. The book club is an hour, so really, some weeks it's two hours. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So some weeks it's three hours a week. It sounds like I'm saying a lot, but just think, it's three hours a week that I put in. And I'm documenting it and recording it, so... That three hours I'll get back next year. <laughs> I won't be live doing it. So something to think about. Something to think about. And for those that are watching the replay, please, um, you know, ask questions and I will answer them. But, um, yeah. You need a video editor. Do you know one? If I hire one, do you want to share the resource and share? and sharing the cost well till i've learned and i I've, i'm taking a mastermind course where i do my own editing and then my daughter you know for the anything big she does it for me but you can go to fever it's f-e-v as in victor e-r-r dot com and there's freelance people in there you can find people that will edit uh, for you at a low cost. I've never had anything um, sent out to be edited, but you know, once you become larger and stuff, 
or once I become larger, then I may hire somebody. But right now, there's apps that I download. So, like, for instance, when I go live, well, okay, for instance, I'll use this one. This live video is as is. <laughs> it's as is, so there's no editing. That's why I like live videos, because there's no editing. You just hit record, or, you you know, you hit live, and it's, as is so it's with all the blunders it's with all the flaws it is what it is but after i get done i'm gonna download this video and then i'm gonna put an intro onto it i may put an outro so i will do a, a little editing and load it up to facebook so when people look at like if you look at this video versus the one on that i'm gonna not facebook youtube when i upload it to youtube it's gonna be a little bit more polished but I do that myself. There's apps, but I'm taking a course that's teaching me how to do all that. So I've already made the investment um, with the course. But I do do little minor editing. I do enough to where I can, you know, do my videos. And then anything difficult, then my daughter does it for me. So, um, but Fever, like I've had them, uh, they designed my book cover for me. They uploaded it to Amazon and, you know, I didn't spend no more than $50. You can find people on there for $5. You know, they can make you intros, outros, but I've learned how to, um, that's where I'm just like out of my element to where I'm, you know, just learning how to do stuff myself. So again, my daughter does that for me, but you know, she was busy living the college life, but she still kind of, so I had to learn how to do a little bit myself. So, um, yeah, I have apps and I'll share the apps with you. I use InShot. Also, um, if you have an iPhone, um, iMovie, you know, you just download it and, um, like the apps are real easy to edit a, a video. So again, I try to you know, I don't do a whole lot of editing, you know, but I do know how to do enough to get my videos out there. So again, when you see me live, it is as is. There is no editing. <laughs> there is no editing. You just get the flaws. But then when I'm done, I do download it. I do polish it up a little bit for YouTube. So... So, but if you do InShot and there's another one, video, um, I have to see my phone. I'm on my phone right now. So when I get off, I'll text you what the other one is. But it's, they're, they've made them, you know, they're making it easier to do these things. So, yeah. So like what my daughter does for me, she designs my uh, intros and my outros. So then all I have to do is go in, I download it through the app my video and then I already have the those things made up so I just add it the front and the back and um I might add in like you know those little buttons that say like share and subscribe you know all that's in the apps and so you just click it in there <laughs> and so I just do little minor editing so definitely but you can definitely hire somebody to do that for you. And so, so Teal, anything else? Um, I'm glad you came on so we could break down how you can um, solve people people's problems and how you are that person. And uh, God has given you a unique message to uh, for a group of people that is, waiting for you to get started they're waiting for your information and so um <clears throat> again you know i just put it right into my um my uh, vision board that we did at the beginning of the year and i had already put in there that i'm you know how many days and how i'm gonna do this and so um i didn't do it all at one time i gradually implemented each one and then you know, it's just flowing to where, like now, um, like for instance, I'm doing the mukbangs. So that's eat, That's my eating show. And so um, I'm already two days ahead. So that's another thing that you can 
take one video. So if you do one video, like me talking for this one hour, I can take the video and break it up into different messages. So, you know what I'm saying? So once you get some good content out there, you just repurpose it and keep using it over and over again. So you need to think of a, a clever title like Renovating with Teal. I like that. I like that. We definitely, um, I like that actually. Now, do you get in there and do you do any of the rehabbing? Like, for instance, over the years, by being a landlord, and you know, I can go and lay a floor. <laughs> I can, um, which I've done that. Um, I could change locks, paint, you know. Like the last tenant when they moved out, you know, my daughter and I. Matter of fact, my daughter painted this these walls, and you can see I started painting. I was like, oh, okay, let me do this. But then I was touching the ceiling up there. You know, when you get tired, you need to stop. But when I saw her paint the walls and stuff, I was like, okay, if she can do it, I can do it. And that's the key thing. If you could do it, you know, motivate me. Hey, I can do it. And another thing that you could do leading up to the rehabbing is little tips on how to, oh, speaking of which, like the outside, the, um, you know, the curb appeal. You know, I, I can see you being good at that. Um, so, um, so again, you want to share the DIY skills, like little things like, hey, this is how you, you know, hammer a nail in a wall. Just little simple stuff. You'd be surprised. Those little tidbits builds a community of people that say, hey, thank you for that tip. Thank you for that tip. So, um Yes, perfect. So, Teal, I was going to get Gary, too, because Gary, he needs to, you know, he's in the finances, and he's definitely, since, you know, following me, I see him, you know, growing his uh, channel and stuff. But again, you know, he needs to be live. Also, giving finance, financial tips, giving out budget sheets. So, if you're watching this, Gary... I'm coming for you because everything is video now. Video. So that's why YouTube is so famous is because you can go on there and find out how to do everything. Like you want to learn how to edit a video? Go to YouTube. How to and type in how do I edit my video? And boom. You're going to find some people that will give you such simple that's what I do. Like, sometimes I'll come across things that I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I'll reach out to my daughter and she'll be like, mom, you can do that yourself. So then I go to YouTube and I um, do, I follow step by step until I figure it out. And then sometimes, I'm sorry, I just can't figure it out. Then I go back to my daughter. I send the video to her. <laughs> okay, you need to walk me through this. And so, like, for the longest, like, the little short videos... You know how people pointing in the words would show. I could could not get that. I could not get that. I went to YouTube and looking at the videos and I going through stuff. I just could not get it. My daughter, of course, she comes right over. Boom, boom, boom. She sets it up. And um, when she did it, then I was able to see because I'm a visual person and I got it. So I know, you know, like I said, I'm picking up along the way on how to be. Uh, make my videos look just as professional as everybody else. And trust me. <laughs> so I was like surprised. Like um, when they were critiquing my YouTube channel, he was like, I'm intrigued. So not only was he in intrigued by the concept, but he was like, these thumbnails are fire. Now, granted, I had already taken his class where he showed us how to. And I'll send you the link to the class. It's so, uh, Solo Creator Pro. I love that class. But these people are like top-notch people, but they teach you how to do what they do. You know, so they're, I love their concept because they could easily, you could easily hire them and pay top dollar for them to do it. But they show you how to do it. So, yeah, he was like, these thumbnails are fire. Hey, girl. I'm just a novice. 
I'm faking that till I make it, but I can visually see like, okay, enough to line things up. Now, when I do a thumbnail, when my daughter does a thumbnail, you can tell the difference off the bat, but I can do enough to where it looks professional and so on and so forth. So, but I keep every day I'm learning something new because I'm determined to make it work and get into this uh, area. So, anyway, I have talked enough, Teal. Thank you so much for joining me. And for those that are watching that I can't see your name, um, just welcome. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now.